going now to the Southern White House. We have a lot of work we're going to be doing in Florida. We had great, uh, some really great election results, as you know. Uh, Georgia just came in, and that was a big success. Florida was a tremendous success with both the governor, Ron DeSantis, he'll be a great governor, and the senator, Rick Scott. And as you know, Ohio was a great victory. We had a lot of great victories, so we're very happy about that. Uh, we put out a statement on Saudi Arabia, which I guess most of you have seen, and we'll see how that all works out. It's a very complex situation. It's a shame, but it's, it is what it is. Because it's America first for me. It's all about America first. We're not going to give up hundreds of billions of dollars in orders and let Russia, China, and everybody else have them. It's all about, for me, very simple. It's America first. Uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, if we broke with them, I think your oil prices would go through the roof. I've kept them down. They've helped me keep them down. Right now, we have low oil prices, or relatively, I'd like to see it go down even lower. lower but I think that... It's a very simple equation for me. I'm about make America great again, and I'm about America first. Are you basically telling us, Mr. President, that human rights are too expensive? That what? That human rights are too expensive. No, I'm not saying that at all. If you look at Iran, just take a look at Iran, and you look at what they're doing. They are a terrorist nation right now. Although I must tell you, they're a lot better right now than they were when I took office. When I took office, they were heading in a very, very bad direction. And at some point, things po very positive, frankly, could happen with Iran, but we also need a counterbalance. And Israel needs help also. If we abandon Saudi Arabia, it would be a terrible mistake. <laughs> I really can't understand what you're saying. Sorry. The Washington, Post, the Washington Post, in a statement, put out a statement. They said that you're putting your personal interest, your commercial interest. Well, I have nothing to do with Saudi. Just so you understand, I don't make deals with Saudi Arabia. I don't have money from Saudi Arabia. I have nothing to do with Saudi Arabia. I couldn't care less. And I will tell you, and as most of you know, being president has cost me a fortune, and that's okay with me. I knew that a long time ago. But being president has cost me a fortune, a tremendous fortune like you've never seen before. But someday I'll tell you what that is. But And I knew that a long time ago because I don't do deals. I don't do, all I do is focus on this country and making great deals for this country. I don't focus on making great deals for myself because I don't care anymore. So Saudi Arabia has nothing to do with me. What does have to do with me is putting America first. Wait, 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 wait. They're buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of things from this country. If I say we don't want to take your business, if I say we're going to cut it off, they will get the equipment, military equipment and other things from Russia and China. Russia and China would be very, very happy because right now we're doing very well against China. We're doing very well against everybody, including Russia. And I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm not going to tell a country that's spending hundreds of billions of dollars and has helped me do one thing very importantly, keep oil prices down so that they're not going to 100 and 150 dollars a barrel. Right now, we have oil prices in great shape. I'm not going to destroy the world economy, and I'm not going to destroy the economy for our country by being foolish with Saudi Arabia. So I think the statement, wait a minute, I think the statement uh, was pretty obvious what I said. It's about America first. Yeah. Are you Say it again. Why was it appropriate for your daughter personal email? Just so you understand, early on, and for a little period of time, Ivanka did some emails. Uh, they weren't classified like Hillary Clinton. They weren't deleted like Hillary Clinton, who deleted 33. She wasn't hiring. She wasn't doing anything to hide her emails. I looked at it just very briefly today, and 
the presidential records, they're all in presidential records. There was no hiding. There was no deleting like Hillary Clinton did. There was no service in the basement like Hillary Clinton had. You're talking about a whole different, you're talking about all fake news. So what Ivanka did, it's all in the presidential records. Everything is there. There was no deletion. There was no nothing. What it is is a false story. Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails. She had a server in the basement. That's the real story. The which policy? Your asylum policy has been put on hold. Well, you go to the Ninth Circuit, and it's a disgrace, and I'm going to put in a major complaint because you cannot win, if you're us, a case in the Ninth Circuit. And I think it's a disgrace when people file, every case gets filed in the Ninth Circuit because they know that's not law, that's not what this country stands for. Every case that gets filed in the Ninth Circuit, we get beaten, and then we end up having to go to the Supreme Court like the travel ban, and we won. The Ninth Circuit, we're going to have to look at that, because every case, no matter where it is, they file it practically, I mean practically, for all intents and purposes. They file it in what's called the Ninth Circuit. This was an Obama judge, and I'll tell you what, it's not going to happen like this anymore. Everybody that wants to sue the United States, they file their case in almost. They file their case in the Ninth Circuit, and it means an automatic loss. No matter what you do, no matter how good your case is, and the Ninth Circuit is really something we have to take a look at, because it's, because it's not fair. People should not be allowed to immediately run to this very friendly circuit and file their case. And you people know better than anybody what's happening. It's a disgrace. In my opinion, it's a disgrace what happens with the Ninth Circuit. We will win that case in the Supreme Court of the United States. Go ahead. What do you have? Will you answer I can't hear your question. I can't is hear you. Mr. Your voice, Admiral your voice is not. I don't know, Admiral. I don't know, Admiral McRae. What? No, they're all finished. The written answers are finished. I don't know. The lawyers have them. I don't know. They will. They will. The written answers to the witch hunt that's been going on forever. No collusion. No nothing. They've been finished. Uh, finish them yesterday. The lawyers have them. Uh, I assume they'll turn them in today or soon. No, I'm going to a war zone. Yeah. What? Are you happy with the sanctions on Iran? Yeah, the sanctions on Iran are very strong, very powerful. They're sanctions, I think, that um, have had a tremendous impact. More sanctions are going on. We have a lot of tremendous support, and Iran is not the same country it was when I became president. It's a much different country, and hopefully at some point we'll be able to make a fair deal and help Iran and help the people of Iran. Mr. President, what is your do you really believe the Should Julian Assange be able to go free? Well, I know that uh, Schumer's daughter works for Facebook, which I just found out today. And if you look at what Facebook's been doing, you know, they have some real explaining to do, how they're so Democrat-oriented, all of them. But I hear Schumer's daughter works for Facebook. And I was very surprised and disappointed to learn that, because nobody knew that until now. Yeah, go ahead. Julian Assange go free? I don't know anything about him, really. I don't know much about him. I really don't. Go ahead. What do you want Pakistan to do? Say it. What do you want Pakistan to do with the fight against terrorism? I want Pakistan to help us. We're no longer paying 1.3 billion to Pakistan. We're paying them nothing because that's what they've done to help us, nothing. And I cut those payments off a long time ago. We're not paying Pakistan any money because they're not helping us at all. And we'll see where it all goes. I hope to have a good relationship with Pakistan, but right now we're paying Pakistan nothing. I cut them off. They were getting $1.3 billion a year. They're not getting anything now.
Oh, you don't worry about the Thanksgiving. These are tough people. They know what they're doing, and they're great, and they've done a great job. You're so worried about the Thanksgiving holiday for them. They are so proud to be representing our country on the border, where if you look at what's happening, Mexico, the people from Tijuana are saying, wow, these are tough people. They're fighting us. They're in fist fights all over the place. These are tough people that are coming in. Now I understand they have 500 people that have been designated as, let's put it in a nice word, criminals. And these are the people that are coming in. No, you don't have people coming in. The order today is not, we can get around that very easily. What I do say, Ninth Circuit is it's very unfair when everybody files their case in the Ninth Circuit. They file it for a reason. As far as the troops, they are proud to be on the border. They are proud to be defending our nation. And we're not letting people in. It's called catch and detain. It's not called catch and release like it has been for many years. For many years, they called it catch, catch and release. They don't call it that anymore. And our soldiers are doing an incredible job. And if you look at the walls that they're building, and if you look at all the barricades that they're putting up, they've done a great job. Do you have any reaction to Michael Avenatti being arrested for domestic violence? No, I wish him the best of luck. I wish him the best of luck. What about the markets? Do you agree with Larry Kudlow that we're not headed to a recession? No, I think we're doing great. I mean, as a country, we're doing great. Our unemployment is at a record low. Uh, you look at all of the different statistics. I think your tech stocks have some problems, but that'll come back. But no, I think we're going to do very well. I'd like to see the Fed with a lower interest rate. I think the rate's too high. I think we have much more of a Fed problem than we have a problem with anyone else. We're doing very well with China. China wants to make a deal very badly. They might not say that to you, but they want to make it very badly. I have another $250 billion worth of tariffs to put on if we don't make a deal. And believe me, I'll be putting them on because China's been ripping off our country for many, many years. And they don't rip us off with me. We made a great deal with Canada. We made a great deal with Mexico. I appreciate the help that Mexico's giving us at the border. You see that people are not coming through. All of the fist fights and the fighting that you see are done on the Mexico side. They're not coming in here, but I appreciate what Mexico's doing. They can do more, but I appreciate what they're doing. How can you say for sure that all of these emails were well, they were preserved. The lawyer told me they're all preserved. Historically, they're preserved. They didn't make a determination. Uh, and it's just like I said, I think it was very, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. They did not make that assessment. The CIA has looked at it. They've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. If you look at Iran, what they've done, they've been a bad actor. You look at what's happening in Syria with Assad, with hundreds of thousands of people killed. We are with Saudi Arabia. We're staying with Saudi Arabia. And by the way, just so everybody, I have no business whatsoever with Saudi Arabia. Couldn't care less. No, 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 no. Uh, this is about America first. They're paying us $400 billion plus to purchase and invest in our country. That's probably the biggest amount ever paid to the United States. This is over a long period of time. It means hundreds of thousands of jobs, billions of dollars of investment and product. And if you think I'm going to let Russia have that money or, or, those, or those things, if you think I'm going to let China make the military equipment. Hey, China and Russia would love to make $100 billion worth of military equipment from Saudi Arabia. We have the contracts. They wanted those contracts. That would be a big, fat, beautiful gift to Russia and to China. They're not going to get that gift. Just so you understand, it's about make America great again. It's about America first. We're going to stay with Saudi Arabia. The other thing, Saudi Arabia is probably the second biggest oil producer. They've worked with us very well. We've kept oil prices down. If you want to see oil prices go to $150 a barrel, like, by the way, Russia would love to see that, all you have to do is break up our relationship with Saudi Arabia. What? Do you meet with the Saudi president in Argentina? 
I don't know that he's going to be there, but if he is, I would. Yeah. Yeah. So Cindy Hyde Smith is a spectacular woman. She's a great senator. She came in. She's done a fantastic job in a short period of time. Uh, she made a statement, which I know that she feels very badly about it, and it was just sort of said in jest, as she said. And uh, she's a tremendous woman, and it's a shame that she has to go through this. I think she's going to do very well. I really believe she's going to do very well. I've gotten to know her well. She is a person that loves the people of Mississippi. She loves the people of this country. She's going to be a great senator. I'm going to do two events in Mississippi on Monday. I'm doing one uh, near, uh, let's see, I'm doing one near Jackson. I'm doing one in uh, the Gulf Coast. And we're going to do one in Tupelo. So we might even do three, but we're going to do two. I think Tupelo probably is definite, and I think Gulfport is definite. Cindy, Cindy Hyde Smith is a tremendous woman who truly loves the people of Mississippi in our country. And I think, and I think she's going to win. Very big. Oh, Ivanka can handle herself. Ivanka can handle herself. These are all in the historical records. There was no deletion whatsoever, unlike Hillary Clinton, who deleted 33,000 emails. Unlike Hillary Clinton, who had a server in the basement, Ivanka didn't. This was just early on when she came in. These calls were not classified, unlike Hillary Clinton's calls, which were classified. And it's all fake news. So what the hell is the pardons for the turkey. <laughs> I, I haven't thought of it, but it's not a bad thing. No, I think what Assad has done is horrible. I mean, really horrible. It's called person of the year, right? Yeah. It's no longer man of the year, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know. That's up to Time Magazine. I've been there before. I can't imagine anybody else other than Trump. Can you imagine anybody other than Trump? Huh? Have a good time, everybody. Thank you.